Welcome back guys, JC here, and this is a very important video. And I say that because of all the flight controllers, this one is by far the easiest to fry of all time. As a matter of fact, I was doing a couple tests on it real quick before I shot this video, and the diode already fried. So now I have a video showing you how to replace the diode. Speaking of, I'll be leaving links to other playlists in the top right of your screen or description below. Uh, it's going to be to my repair playlist, uh, the SP Racing Mini playlist, as well as a few others. Also, because this is so important, I'm going to recommend you watch the entire video. Please don't skip anything because, like I said, this thing is super easy to fry. So first, let's determine what type of ESCs we have. There are linear ESCs and there are opto ESCs. Uh, you need to figure out which one you have because this is very important. With linear ESCs, they are easy to spot because you will have three of these small wires coming out of it. You will have a yellow or white wire. It could be either color. This is your signal wire. Then you have red for power and brown or black for ground. The reason it has a power wire is because you will power the ESC with these main power leads from your PDB, which will power the ESC, but they also have a BEC or voltage regulator built in. And this is going to step the voltage down to 5 volts and kick that 5 volts back out through this red wire. With opto ESCs, you don't have that built in BEC or voltage regulator. You just have a signal and a ground. It sounds like a bad thing, but opto ESCs are actually better, in my opinion. Uh, that's why most of us use opto ESCs. Linear ESCs have their benefits to some flight controllers, but I will say that with this flight controller, uh, they are almost useless. I'm not saying you can't use it. You can still use these. I'm just saying the built-in back is kind of worthless uh, with the way this thing is powered and wired. So first let's talk about how to power this flight controller. This flight controller has a built-in voltage regulator, so it can accept the full voltage of the battery and then step it down to 5 volts that it needs to power the flight controller and anything attached to it, like your receivers, on-screen displays, GPS, so on and so on. If you look at the very top right here, you will see a plus sign and a minus sign on this side. Uh, so that's why I've soldered on a wire to the positive and a wire to the negative. The other end of this wire, and there's nothing special about this wire, it's just, uh, you know, some scrap wire. This will go to your PDB, and it needs to go anywhere on your PDB where it's getting the full voltage of the battery. So this means you can solder them directly to your battery leads, like I've done here, or you could even put them uh, on any of these pads where your ESC main power and ground wires go. And basically, the only place you don't want to put these wires is somewhere where there is a voltage regulator. Uh, for example, I have a 5 volt regulator and a 12 volt regulator. Uh, you would not want to use those. So now if I plug in a LiPo battery, the power goes from the battery to the PDB, and then from the PDB to the flight controller, the flight controller steps it down to 5 volts and powers itself. Now the next thing you need to know is uh, flight controllers that don't have the built-in regulator, they have VBAT pins, so there's extra wiring and things you have to do to get voltage to show up in beta flight, clean flight, your on-screen displays, telemetry, so on and so on. But because it already knows what it is, there is no additional steps needed. So if I plug in my USB cable, and we go into beta flight, we will see that the voltage is already appearing right here. Um, now you may want to uh, check it with a multi check the voltage of your battery with a multimeter and uh, calibrate it. If it is off, sometimes it is slightly off. I also have a video on how to do that in my beta flight playlist. Okay, now the next tip, and this is something you absolutely need to know. Even though we are uh, powering the flight controller, you will see many power pins throughout the flight controller. For example, we have four power pins right here, or five volt pins. We have two more up here, two more up here, two more down here, and there is another one around here somewhere. None of these pins are getting five volts right now because there's something extra we have to do to make it work. So for example, if I uh, probe a ground and positive, we're getting 2.9 volts, 3 volts, 
three volts. You get the idea. It's not sending five volts to all of those pins. The reason for this is because if you look right next to the USB, there are two tiny little triangles right here. And basically, the five volts from the five volt regulator is going to this pin on the, the triangle on the left side, but it's not making it to the triangle on the right side. You have to bridge those two triangles with a drop of solder and that is going to bridge them together and that will actually send the rest of the 5 volts throughout the rest of the flight controller. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but I just bridged those two triangles with a drop of solder. Now, they are bridged and it's going to send the 5 volts everywhere else. So now if I probe any 5 volt pin throughout the flight controller, I am now getting 5 volts or close enough to it. 7 or 4.76 which is still going to power everything because that's within tolerance. Now I really hope you guys are still watching uh, especially you linear ESC guys because this is the important part. With opto ESCs like I said you only have signal and ground. If you have a quadcopter meaning four motors here are the uh, four channel outputs for your four ESCs channels 1, 2, 3, and 4. This, uh, these four top pins are the signal pin, the middle pins are power, and the bottom pins are ground. So opto ESCs, your, you'll have four signal wires and four ground wires, and no, like nothing on these power wires. If you have a uh, hexacopter, meaning six motors, you have outputs five and six here, and if you have an octocopter, you have seven and eight over here. You linear ESC guys, like I said, with these ESCs powered up, they will be kicking 5 volts back out through this red wire. You do not want to use that red wire because you will have 5 volts coming out here and 5 volts going in through here. So instead of connecting these three wires with signal, power, and ground, completely cut this red wire out. Either cut it off or desolder it, do something to get rid of this red wire. You do not need it. You will fry something if you use it. And that's it guys, so now you have your ESCs connected, nothing's going to fry. You have 5 volts going to all the 5 volt pins, so you, you should now be good. But that does it, so check out those other playlists I left links to, and I will see you again soon.